Alright, so made it to the boss floor of Web Domain. The reason I went here first is, um, much more to do with the, uh... that all that's here? Hmm. I'll avoid you for now. Uh, it's much more to do with the fact that, um, the Drive Domain requires you to use a, um... Eh, guess I gotta deal with you either way. Uh, the Drive Domain, you have to, on the boss floor, there are two... Uh, electric uh, shock things. I, I don't remember what they're called, but um, use a mag missile to destroy them. So, electrospores, that's what they're called. Um, I believe I showed you them back uh, when we were doing Metal Greymon, I believe. Yeah. But no, they're, they're, they're a nuisance. Quite a nuisance. And I have to have the. Uh, the missiles to use them, so. Just made more sense to do the web main first. At least I think so. But then also this boss level has a... multiple paths, as well as there's enemies on the boss floor. Which is meh. This makes things a bit more... Not necessarily difficult, but annoying. I guess, which means that we might not get to both bosses. Um, probably not. We're probably going to do this boss and then... Uh, see if we can do a little bit of wrap-up, but I don't know that we can. Maybe not. No, at the very least I'll have to go and buy stuff to get ready for the other one. Yeah, you, uh, you notice the difference in strength between, um, these guys, who only have one DP, so they've only gone through one DNA age evolution, but significantly stronger than the wizard mon that I got through a trade who started out at level 11. They're just significantly stronger, like, not even a question at all. Oh man, there's just so many of you. Oh. Oh, what? I'm supposed to be able to avoid landmines, though. That's annoying. I got I got the arm and everything. Oh well. There's still a lot of parts that I need to buy for the uh, for the uh, Digi Beetle. It's surprising how many things you can attach to it. Very surprising. I forgot about uh, the amount of traps that existed. Uh, which requires you to have all sorts of different pieces of equipment, and then of course you gotta level it up and blah, blah, blah. Just, just more than I remember. For sure. But no, there's a, there's an arm that you can use for disarming mines. Um, but I suppose actually to do that I would have to... Uh, tap X in front of me to detect that there's a mine. There's a there's an advanced radar that'll actually detect all of that for you, if I recall correctly. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Um, and we'll we'll get to that eventually, I'm sure. Just because going through the process of getting 20 DP on three different Digimon is going to be quite intense. White intense, to say the least. But um, once I get the the three megas that are all maxed out, um, life will be exponentially easier. Um, actually, I should have you guard for now. You as well. But no, with a, a, a Digimon that's got 20 DP and is a, up to Mega, just level 31 in and of itself, way stronger than most everything in the game. I say most. Um, there's there's very very small reason to get up beyond level 50, and it, it's incredibly difficult to do as well because. Um, 
Oh, I think I can move correctly now. I'll take that damage. Open! Well. Anti mix up. Is that correct? Um, oh, there's treasure this way. Perfect. I don't care if it's food trap. Do, 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 do. Yeah, with, with this 1800, uh, as I said previously, anything over a thousand, fine. Will carry you through the majority of the game and you'll be able to explore and be fine and never have to worry about it. Uh, 1800, even more so. The only time you'll ever need more than um, 1800 would be in uh, one of the ridiculously large dungeons where it goes up over 20 floors, but beyond that, you really don't need it beyond 1800. It, it, it's fine, it's fine. The, this particular game has not a... it doesn't have a steep curve at all, uh, but there's definitely multiple ways to play it. You can rush through it, which I always used to do. As get every single game I played, I would just rush through it. And then there's the uh, kind of calculated, be good at the game, which I'm not capable of. And then there's the, oh, I don't care, I'll just grind, which I've adopted as my strategy. Uh, I'm, I'm fine with wasting time in a game grinding now. I actually enjoy it. Anyways, these these stupid guys are everywhere. They're just everywhere. And just throw poop. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, um. Yeah, we'll use best breath with you just because. Unfortunately, Blazekin here uses way more MP than anybody else. By far and away. That's one of the reasons why getting the uh, Snow Agumon is great, because uh, Sub-Zero Ice Punch only uses 10 MP. Fantastic. Uh, Wizardmon only uses 10 MP, but because he hasn't gotten any DNA evolution, he doesn't have the stats. He doesn't have any sort of stacking there at all. Right-o. Oh, come on. I just gotta wait some turns. There we go. And the boss. The boss. How are we doing overall on um, on stats? Fine. Just fine. Uh, Wizard Mon's a little weak. But I don't have any like HP discs at all. Oh well. Boss time! Welcome on! <laughs> yes? Well, if it isn't any little guard teamer. What did you call me? You see, you're not a weakling guard teamer. Prove it! This is if you're brave enough to face me, Quagamon, the boss of Whip to me. Right up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so they got, uh, Gaysamon and Akamon, in addition to Quagamon, so we got a, uh, a Stag Beetle, a Squid, and an Octopus. Lovely. Um... Um... Uh, who do we want to pick up first? Who's gonna be the problem? Probably Octomon. Probably Octomon. Uh, also, Sub-Zero Ice Punch. Powers up with repeated use, so if you just use nothing but Sub-Zero Ice Punch, it gets slightly stronger every time, and it's fantastic. So yeah, Toy Agumon would have been a much better um, fodder for fusion, but in terms of general playing, having Sub-Zero Ice Punch is fantastic. Uh, once I start mixing outside of the... Um, because all, every time you DNA to evolve, all the skills will stack, as far as I remember. You'll inherit all the skills um, as you level up that the uh, both of the parents had in all their stages. But because I've used a champion with an ultimate, I only get the rookie, the champion, 
and the ultimate abilities of those three states. Uh, I don't get the champion abilities that Metal Greymon would have had, or the rookie abilities that Metal Greymon would have had, and I don't get the ultimate abilities that uh, the other Digimon would have had, just because they don't exist in that state. Um, now we're just gonna have Cover Breath Akamon, Sub Zero Ice Punch, and uh, Kuagamon got paralyzed, so we're fine on that. All good, all good. Battle should be done in another two minutes or so. Good times, good times. Ooh, that is good damage. That is good damage. I need to heal, probably. Oh no! That is not what I wanted. Quickness down. Hmm. That is a nuisance. And yeah, your attack missed because you were attacking somebody who's dead now. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, I need to heal. Ooh, do I need to heal? Yeah, 15 health. Ooh, man. Alright, uh, I've got HP drivers, so we'll go ahead and run with that. Uh. Actually, no. Gaysamon should be able to go down with a single Sub Zero Ice Punch. And you've got plenty of MP left over, so you're fine on that front. But, uh, yeah, once, uh, once I start doing, like, ultimate, ultimate fusions, and they're from actual leveled up, uh, guys that I've been working with, so I'm gonna have, like, just a massive amount of rookie and champion abilities for, um, when I'm just doing my, uh, grinding to get 20 DP. Uh, cause I'm just gonna grab random Digimon for the most part, and then get them up to champion and just start fusing them together so that way I can kind of pick and choose the best abilities overall and throw it all together because ideally I would like to have maxed out abilities I would like to have all four um, all four of these full with three abilities each even if the abilities aren't terribly useful something that I would care about I would like to have them full just so I have an option in case uh, like, definitely I want Necromagic, for sure, um, but I would like to have the option to have other abilities that don't necessarily uh, work with my current strategies, but something that I could use in, uh, like, a pinch situation, or what have you. Sub Zero Ice Punch is getting stronger and stronger, I love it. Such a great move. Such a great move in the beginning of the game. Yeah, no, uh, believe me, I will spend a lot of time um, just doing fusion fodder and leveling up because once we start getting to a point where, um, like I said, I'm going to have Dragonite be equivocally my main. So Dragonite's just going to be sitting there in his ultimate form, uh, just acting as the tank while I've got the rookie off to the side, just getting XP and just farming it that way. It works really well for fusion fodder. So there we go. Got that, uh, got that taken care of. And I'll just see how much money I have real quick, like. And, uh, next time I guess we'll see you at the... Ooh, 4,000. Not quite enough. I mean, 5,000. Uh, but yeah, next time we'll see you at the, um... At the, uh, the drive domain, top of it. So until then.